Hi, Greg Weitzel, Director of Parks and Recreation with the City of Las Vegas here with Mark Podekar, Facilities Project Manager at Las Vegas Senior Center, the former Las Vegas Senior Center. Now it's the Dula Community Center at the Dula Complex. Mark's gonna walk us through and show us a little bit about uh, the improvements. Sounds good. The project was split up into two phases. There was a uh, roof mechanical phase that happened first, and then after that, it went down to the interior remodels. This looks awesome. Thank you did a great job. You can just tell as soon as you walk in uh, the details that you, you paid attention to. Thank you. Yeah, we were, we were trying to bring it up to uh, this millennium. Tell me a little bit about this entryway. Uh, originally, the desk was back over in this location. Park staff, when we started working on the project, said, well, we can utilize it better well, if we move it over to here. You got a better view of the front entrance. This is kind of new, too, these open computer stations, which you know most of our centers have you know them in a separate room. Correct. That's what they used to be actually in this room right over here, but the thought was we can use that for programming. Let's move them out into the open area. Well, let's go take a look at some of the rooms. Basically everything finished out brand new in here. Flooring, paint, ceilings, lighting. Technological upgrades as well. So were there any challenges to this project? You know, every construction project has its challenges, but I'd say overall this uh, was a very successful project. Actually under budget and finished earlier than completion date. Great job. Really appreciate your appreciate help. It. Thank you. I'm here with Jana Bruner, Recreation Manager. We're at the Dula Gym, and what's really cool about this project is its connection. Traditionally, it was the Las Vegas Senior Center on that side, and then we just had sports on this side, but we're changing that trend. We want that full encompassing multi-generational center. So Jana, what do you think about the renovation? I think that the, the city did a phenomenal job with um, renovating this building. What was interesting is once they renovated the building, we actually realized how much programming space is in this facility. Mm -hmm. So Greg, this room in here, it has a great classroom feel. So we're gonna do ESL classes, um, English as a second language. They've been beneficial in all our other community centers and we think that the neighborhood could benefit mm -hmm. from having that type of program here. Joining us now, Andrea Anzalone, Senior Recreation Inclusion Specialist, gonna to talk to us about some of the programs you're gonna do in my favorite room, the ballroom. All right, fantastic, come on in guys. So as you guys can see, we have a large space here. In here, we're gonna be doing conferences, huge parties, dances. So there's a lot of things that we can do in this huge space. So Andrea, we have four multi-purpose rooms, but this room is special. Can you tell us why? It is very special. So in this room, multi-purpose room one, in the afternoons and then during the summer, this is gonna be our youth adaptive programming. Um, so this is great because we have so much space that now we can offer a lot more programming for our children. What makes it adaptive? This room is gonna be used for children with disabilities. Everything now is EDA compliant. We have lowered um, desktop. We also have wheelchair accessible. So if a child's oh, in a chair great. and mm -hmm. then can wheel up and wash his hands after doing an arts and crafts project. Jana, what do you think this new center is gonna to mean to the community? I think the community is going to embrace it. When we took the building down, clearly that was impactful on their recreation experiences. And I think now that it's going to be a multi-generational center, we're going to bridge the gaps that we're missing when it was just a senior center. Can't wait to see all the new programming here. I'm excited to open this next week. The new Doula Community Center, another great example of building community to make life better.